A new report out today shows just how much trash Michiganders throw out, and it is a lot. Our Ty Steele's been out all day working to break down the numbers. Here's what he's learned. Let's check in with him. Ty. Yeah, hey guys, disposable vape pens, pop bottles, and compostable waste. What do these th three things have in common? Well, according to a new Michigan report, they're being thrown away at an alarming rate, costing you money. And uh, we're going to go over the results of that report right now and show you what a conservation advocate has to say about how he can use those results to throw away less. Millions of dollars going straight into Michigan landfills, according to a new report by the Michigan Sustainable Business Forum. As I read that report, it was even more than I expected to see in there. What we're throwing away and how much is shocking to Northville conservation advocate Dave Drennan. The amount of, uh, of food waste, I think, is how they characterize it, or compost compostable waste. Um, it was, I don't remember the exact number, but it was a huge uh, bar on the bar chart. The chart shows 20% of what Michiganders throw away is compostable food waste. But that's not the most surprising finding. 29 million disposable vape pens end up in our landfills. These pens contain lithium ion batteries, which hold valuable materials and also pose a fire risk at waste facilities. Perhaps most shocking is what we throw away that could be money in our own pockets. 1.3 billion returnable containers were tossed, leaving $130 million in bottle deposits unclaimed. But to Dave, it's more about doing our part together. Everyone can do their job to um, recycle as much as you can and to minimize what you have to throw away to start with. And this report is part of a greater conversation about conservation in the state of Michigan. There's actually a bill that made its way through a Senate committee last night, last night Senate Bill 1112, which aims to expand the bottle deposit here in the state to include water bottles. So coming up at 6, we'll go over what that uh, new Senate bill would do if it became law, what it would take to make it become law, and, of course, what you, the Michiganders out there, think about it. That's all coming up at 6, but for now, we're live in downtown Detroit. Ty Steele, Local 4. All right, Ty, we'll see you then. Thank you.